his Berchtesgaden, surveys his native Austria and precipitates upheaval in that unlucky country. Schusnig, who had presented a bold face to Nazi aspirations, bows before the storm and resigns. Seisinkart, Austrian Nazi in the government, carries on and carries out the German plan. Events move so swiftly that the story told today will be history tomorrow. One wonders where stands Mussolini in all this. In France, the divisions of political groups begin to mend, and Monsieur Blum gets busy forming a new government with a new solidarity. That map, or it will not be wanted again. A centuries-old boundary has been obliterated, and anxiety shifts to a new region. Germany moves into Austria, and these pictures will perhaps stir emotions in some of you which you may find it hard to repress. But sit through them calmly. They will teach us something, they will illustrate the seriousness of the times in which we live, and they will reinforce our determination to meet the difficulties of our world with courage. Whether German troops crossed into Austria before they were invited or not is now only an academic and unimportant point. They crossed and met with no opposition. Instead, they found welcome and rejoicing among sympathizers, and those who dissented either stayed away or feigned enthusiasm. Removing the frontier barrier at Kufstein becomes almost a ritual. It goes to the museum or perhaps to the bonfire. Epitome of the great bloodless revolution which has agitated the world, German troops cross the Danube at Passau. Even small children have learnt the Nazi salute. 